I guarantee it wasn't planned, but it might be apropos that I'm wearing Carolina blue and we're going to talk Baylor running game because if there was a devastating, dominating performance in the bowl season, it was out of that Baylor rushing offense with a third or fourth string quarterback in play against North Carolina and what we expected to be a really good game. Bring in Sean Cordy from today's you to help us sort out these Baylor running backs. Sean, it's been a while. How you been? It's been a while, but yeah, I've been hanging in there. You know, just getting ready for football to start back. It's been a while. Shock Linwood missed the bowl game, still ran for 1,300 yards, 6.8 per carry, 10 touchdowns. So I presume he's the number one back, but I guess we can't presume anything because they're three deep with three very talented players here. Yeah, I mean, Shock Linwood, he's looked like one of the greatest or one of the best running backs in the conference for the past two years. It's hard to imagine he's still around. I mean, look at the last two years. He's had over 1,200 yards, over 26 touchdowns total from receiving and rushing. These are just numbers that you would expect for him to have already left and be in the pros. But he's a really fast, agile back that's very hard to bring down. He's just been able to run all over in what used to be Art Riles' offense. And now it's just going to be interesting to see how Kendall keeps using him, especially seeing how – there's more behind Linwood, not just him anymore. Now, Shock hasn't made any Heisman candidacies uh, uh, known at this point yet, has he? No, I mean, at, he has not. You're always going to get the quarterback. Seth Russell is going to get the most attention, of course. But if they wanted to, you could make a highlight reel of Linwood for sure. But it was Shock Linwood a couple of years ago who said before the season that he was going to win the Heisman, correct? Yes. Yeah, he did okay. say that. I mean... I think any player is going to say that they can. I remember Corey Coleman. He probably he really thought he could too, but you always know it's going to go to a QB. So we'll see. So for those people out there that are trying to prep for this season and the Baylor offense in particular by looking at last year's statistics and then seeing who's back and, and so forth, Devin Chafin dismissed from the team, hit a female three times uh, and probably some other things involved there, but ran for a buck 19 against TCU 156 in the bowl game against North Carolina. Very talented kid. Unfortunately can't make the right decision. Scored nine yeah. touchdowns last year. He's a great goal line back that will definitely be missed, but I think Baylor's going to be able to find someone in there that can replace him in that kind of sense. Terrence Williams is a huge, huge back. He thinks he's about six, two, six, three, depending on, who you ask, he's very strong. He definitely has potential to be that Chafin type back. I was glad to see Johnny Jefferson get that one last yard to get to a thousand even last year yep. when that was inconceivable starting the uh, Russell Athletic Bowl that he would be anywhere close to that. 7.4 per carry, finished off with a buck 58 in that Texas loss and then the 299 game. So what does he bring to the table? Because basically what most of us saw in that game was him running free. Yeah, basically what you saw him do was what Shock Linwood would have done. Linwood was out, but Johnny stepped in, and they're pretty much first, they're virtually the same type of running back. Johnny's just one inch taller, 10 pounds more, and they're, they run in the exact same way. They don't get the receiving yards. They're just an all-purpose running back. Uh, they're just a powerhouse running agile type of back. And I could see them splitting RB1, A, RB1, 2. They're very similar. I can't say shock because they head start starter because Johnny's right behind them. Sean Cordy joining us from today's U. Let's talk about Terrence Williams. So here's a kid that uh, ran for a buck 21 against Lamar, 111 against Rice. Then he kind of disappeared. I don't know if the injuries were uh, – part of that equation then he came back late in the season he did miss five games so he, he yes. must have been hurt there you can fill us in there but 97 yards two touchdowns against uh, the Tar Heels in the bowl game for Terrence Williams I mean I think that Baylor says a great thing with Terrence Williams players you remember the wires here a few years back and he's another really talented young back that he runs differently than both Shock and Johnny do he's a bigger back like I said earlier and I think he can even get involved in the passing game should Baylor choose. He's shown a little bit of talent out of the, out of the, in the flats before. So I'd like to see him get in the rotation a little bit more. I, the three-headed spear with Terrence, Johnny, and Shock should be pretty dangerous. Yeah, so Baylor offense known for throwing the ball up top. But if you look at the running game, extremely productive last year. The yards per carry 
is insane for all these backs, and it might be the most talented threesome in college football when you talk Jefferson Williams and, of course, Shaq Linwood. All right, Sean Let's, Cordy from Today's You helping us break it down. Is there anything we missed? Uh, the only thing is that Cameron Martin, was he was the number one Texas running back, and he's since decommitted going over to Auburn. Art Bryles helped him out. He's good friends with Gus Malzahn. So he would have been a great all-purpose receiving back that could have started right away, get some reps in there. But sadly, with the debacle that's gone on in Waco, it's just not a – something that could happen for that. So, Yeah, so so much to talk about there with uh, Baylor off the field and how it affects on the field. But uh, and just looking in these personal groupings, what we're doing right now is looking at position by position, still loaded at Baylor for 2016 at running back. All right, Sean, appreciate the time. Right, no problem, Mark. Thanks.